Welcome back to Better. Well, Bachelor Pad was one of the hottest shows of the summer, complete with steamy love scenes and heated battles. That's you can't have a hot show without mm -mm. those things. I know, that's what you were watching for, too, steamy right? Steamy love yeah. scenes. Yeah, now that season two has wrapped up, we've got all the behind-the-scenes gossip from two of our favorites from season one. That would be adorable couple Kipton and Tenley. I'm with one of America's cutest, most adorable couples, Kipton and Tenley from season one Bachelor Pad. You'll also know Tenley from the Bachelor season with Jake and Vienna. Kipton and Tenley were only one season apart. Most people don't realize that. Talk to us about how you actually met. I actually called Tenley. I had been on the Bachelorette um, and finished up in the runner, runner up spot only months before her. So when she came off her season as the runner up, I knew what she was going through and just kind of reached out as a friend to, um, to kind of let her know what to expect. How did you feel when you got that phone call? Well, I was I was excited to actually speak to somebody who had been in my shoes and really understood uh, the position of being that runner-up and kind of, it's almost, I don't know, the couple is so happy when, when the chosen one is chosen and, and this runners-up are kind of very quickly forgotten in, in the sense of, you know, what our emotions are. So it was nice to connect with him in that sense. Had you had an interest when you saw Kip on TV? Uh, he was definitely somebody I would be interested in. He was a surfer, he was a philanthropist, a businessman, and just smart, and, and he seemed like this nice, compassionate guy, but you know what? After I got to know him, I realized, or crush grew very quickly, because all those things were in place, but he's actually really funny and just, just fun to be around and talk to and stuff, so that's how that happened. You only show one side on TV. <laughs> it's like you get the serious side, and then there's so much that gets left on the editing room floor, so. We both were actually pleasantly surprised when we met each other because I thought she was going to be, you know, way more straight laced and very serious as or well. Or Disney. Or Disney. And then we both were laughing all the time, going, "This isn't what we saw." Yeah. People are pretty much who you think they are. What what you okay. get shown is who they are. But there's a lot more that you don't get to see. Now I want to dig a little bit of gossip. I noticed that it seems like everyone takes a lot of time out of their schedules and probably their careers to be on Bachelor Pad and Bachelor Bachelorette. Do you get paid? No, we did not. <laughs> you know what, they, they don't pay um, to be one of the 25. If you get down to the final four, they offered us both a, a stipend, but if you're the main -uh. person. Oh, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I'm but, making some phone calls later you today. You better, you're, you're definitely owed some money. <laughs> yes. What was the moment where you knew Tenley was one for you? Well, I think that the point that it switched from like platonic to a uh, romantic relationship was definitely during Bachelor Pad, we had this date to Catalina. It was this chemistry that couldn't be denied anymore once uh -huh. we had that situation of the Catalina date and it was just like the two of us and it was everything, we just let go of everything and, and that's where it started. So you guys got the best prize of all. Do you see? would have been nice too. <laughs> I, I, mean, so too. Been. I think so too. <laughs> and we're about to tour your bachelor pad, yeah. which, by the way, Tenley is not willing to move into. <laughs> what would it take to move you into the bachelor pad? Well, one, uh, well, we can talk about that. <laughs> one piece, you know, that would uh, make everything a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you're aware of that fact. Yeah, that was, that was subtle, Jennifer. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to put you on the and spot. Then, um, so, definitely some, you know, it's really a bachelor pad here and I'm making it a little bit more homey. He does, I don't even notice it when I'm here really with, with Kipton and um, it's such a comfortable environment for me, but you know, if I thought about living here, I'd probably spruce it up a little bit. Okay, I still <laughs> want to talk a little bit about the relationship. So, are there talks about the future? Absolutely. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's been, last month was a year for us, and so um, we're kind of both collectively know that we're going to figure this thing out. Either we want to get uh, get busy moving forward or understand that we're not right for each other. So. Yeah. I'm making a move to San Diego. I think that's a big step just because I've been, I moved from Oregon uh, right out of high school to California, but to Orange County. So I've been there for nine years and or longer actually. And, and now I'm planting myself in San Diego, which is all for, for us. And I'm so excited for this next step in this, our future. That's a big move. And from the chemistry you guys have, I think it's going to be a good move. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> I want to take a tour of your place. All right. All right, buckle up. Did your patch pad anything at all like uh... my it was steamy and uh, heated <laughs> for a different that's reason. That's what I think. <laughs> pay the air conditioning. Just, yeah, cuz I can't afford air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, we'll stick around cuz we're going to get that tour coming up. Not of his best. No, pad. not of mine. You don't want to see that. <laughs>